My name is Darren Kirajabaili, and I'm training under Dr. Diane Lakai, Scientific Director at Arthritis Research Canada. I wanted to share with you my research on rheumatology healthcare providers' views and practices on the management of obesity and smoking and rheumatoid arthritis. So what we knew going into this research was that obesity and smoking, they're both associated with more severe rheumatoid arthritis, but also rheumatoid arthritis that doesn't respond as well to treatment or medications. For this reason, we wanted to conduct a survey looking at how rheumatology nurses and physicians felt about managing these conditions. Specifically, we wanted to look at their knowledge, um, confidence, the barriers they faced, and their practices when it came to managing these two important issues. So like I said, we did a survey to uh, assess these things. And, and what we found was that um, 85%, so, so most of the rheumatology um, providers, were aware of the associations that I mentioned between obesity or smoking um, and rheumatoid arthritis, which was, which was great. And in fact, all but one participant felt they were at least partly responsible for discussing these issues with their patients. Again, this was a very positive finding. It means that the intention was there. People were interested and in, in, in aware in, in addressing these issues. That said, 78%, so most participants, they felt not confident or only slightly confident in their ability to actually help patients quit smoking or lose a meaningful amount of weight. And further, again, the majority of participants were not routinely sending their patients to um, appropriate uh, experts in the fields or providing relevant educational materials. Um, and largely it seemed like these, these practices were not being done because there were competing demands a lack of time during clinical visits, and also providers were not aware of local expertise. They were not aware of what resources were available, and they didn't have access to these educational materials. So, you know, we think that these findings are, are quite helpful and meaningful because we're using this information to guide us in creating resources that will fill these gaps. So we are looking to create um, little packages or, or guides for both clinicians, but also for patients that outline what resources are available in their communities, um, how they can get in touch with local experts through referral processes. And we're also looking to provide some, some links to educational materials that can empower both clinicians and patients become active agents in their own health. So ultimately, we think that with this information, and by empowering healthcare providers and by empowering patients, patients who have arthritis, but who also have elevated weight or who also smoke will receive better care.